I really am a boring person when I'm home. I just hang out at the house. I hang out with my cat. I got a cat named Jessica. Uh, thank you. I'm a cat person. Are there any other cat people out there? Yeah? Got some cat people here? Nice. I'm guessing the rest of you are dog people. Is that what it is? Yeah. 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 yeah I, I'm not anti-dog. Yeah. You know? Every time I tell someone I'm a cat person, I'm like, what does that mean? You don't like dogs? No. That's not what that means. It just means I like other people's dogs. I like dogs. I just like them over there. And I'll play with them, but then go back over there. I don't like that kind of energy in my house. You know what I mean? That annoying dog, best friend in your face all the time energy. Just like, yeah! I love you. <laughs> You're home. Where have you been? <laughs> it creeps me out. I don't care for that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Just in your face. Like, you want to go out? There's a tree. I know this tree. You want to hang out at this tree? What if I just keep breathing into your face? <laughs> Ugh. All the time? No, thank you. That's why I like cats. Cats are more like, hey, what are you up to? Uh, never mind. I just remembered I don't care. Uh, I'll be in the kitchen. I'll see you later. I like that. I don't need a best friend at the house. I just need like an apathetic roommate <laughs> that sometimes wants to hang out. <laughs> like a dog, you can pet a dog's belly all day. They'll never get tired of it, just all day. Just like, yeah, man, never stop. You're the best. <laughs> Hopefully not that creepy, but you get the idea. <laughs> a cat, you can pet for what? Two, maybe three seconds? And so it's like, all right, get away from me. <laughs> I have my own thing's going on. <laughs> I got a pile of clean laundry to lay on. Get away from me. That's what my cat does. It waits for the pile of clean laundry we haven't folded yet and just rubs on it while making eye contact. Just like, mm-hmm. Everyone's gonna know. <laughs> so bothersome. My wife, uh, she has a new hobby. She's really into special needs animals. I don't know if that's made its way out here, Provo. <laughs> If you don't know what special needs animals are, they're animals. Uh, they have special needs. <laughs> that is all. Uh, there, there's this one, Oscar the Blind Cat. It was a cat that was born without any eyes. And they have a like page on Facebook. And my wife goes on there every day and cries. <laughs> and that's what she does for fun. That's what she does for a good time. And it's weird, because I come home and she's just on the computer. Like, ah! And, you know, me being a guy, I always think it's something I did. And then she goes, no. And then she turns the computer, and it's Oscar the blind cat. And you're like, look at Oscar. And he's adorable. He has no eyes. Just... And I'm like, oh. And then she goes, I want a special needs animal. I want one. I'm like, you don't ask for one. You get bestowed one. Because I don't know, what, what do you, you can't just go to the pound and be like, hey, hey, what do you have in the back? Like, that's not how that works. <laughs> I need like a three-legged dog or a cat with something. What do you have? You can't do that. That's why, you know, we got Jessica at the pound. That's where we got Jessica. And we didn't name her Jessica. They named her at the pound. And people always ask, like, why don't you change your name? Because that's wrong. You don't change someone's name. That's rude. Like, if you adopt a kid from another country, you, they, you can't just be like, yep, can't pronounce that. Your name's Jeff now. <laughs> That's rude. You learned that person's name. So I got a cat named Jessica. <laughs> Very much your fan. <laughs> uh, Jessica's overweight. She weighs uh, more than she should for a cat, uh, which sucks, because when people come over, no one blames the cat in that scenario. <laughs> You know what I mean? No one comes over and goes, what happened here, sweetheart? A little heavy on the carbs? No, they look at you and they go, what'd you do to her? <laughs> and that's not fair, because I try. We have the laser pointer. I got the stick with the feather. I'm always running around my house. Come on, sweetheart, let's get the cardio going. But she's not that into it. We, my wife and I, we bought diet formula kibble. They make diet formula kibble and they have rules. Just one cup per day, because you're on a diet, Jessica. <laughs> We tried, but then at two in the morning, Jessica would come into our bedroom at night, climb onto our bed, and then stand on my head. 22 and a half pounds of her, you guys, on my skull. And she would come down into my ear and just go, meh, meh. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, this diet is over. I had no idea that's how you felt about it. I apologize. <laughs> I'm getting up right now and cooking you some bacon. Let's get after it. 
I don't have any children, but if I'm, in pu I'm out in public and I see a parent of an overweight child, I make eye contact and I go, I get it. <laughs> Does that little fella stand on your head at night and scream in your ear? <laughs> I get it, give him what he wants. We need our sleep. <laughs> My wife and I, we sleep on a memory foam mattress. That's what we sleep on. Anyone else here rocking the memory foam mattress? It's the best mattress in the world. It's the most comfortable, isn't it? It's the best. That mattress is made for sleeping and sleeping only. Don't do anything else on that mattress. Who's not created for that? That is not why scientists came together. It's made for resting comfortably, and that is it. I know, because we've tried, and it sucks every time. It's like trying to wrestle in quicksand. It is the worst. You just start sinking in slowly. <laughs> stay calm, stay calm. Just try to get your leg out. Just breathe, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Try to get your leg out. Get your leg out. I'm gonna get some help. Jessica, we need some help. But she can't help. She just stands on our backs and pushes us in further. Subscribe to Drybar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.